Hey everybody, Sean here from VidGamiac.com. Here we are today back in Sega Genesis Classic, scrubbing The Eagle Has Landed. This one is going to be done in Shining Force. It's going to be one of the longer achievements because this is the only one that takes place in an RPG. Start up the game and the first tip I want to give you is to use the right trigger fast forward to skip past any of these long text boxes you don't want to read. So just fast forward to the part where she asks you if you want to start a new game. Make sure you start a new game. Then you are going to pick your scenario. Make sure you pick scenario 1 and that should let you get started. After punching in your name, just keep fast forwarding to get through this first bit. Alright, you should wake up in a church or a chapel, something like that. So just fast forward through all of the exposition. Then you are going to head on inside. This guy's going to stop you. Make sure you fast forward and then you're supposed to go back outside. Talk to this guy again, just fast forward, and then he's going to tell you to head back inside, and then the other dude's going to stop you. Just fast forward through all this exposition, it doesn't really matter. So once you finally have control of your character without any of the other NPCs stopping you, just leave and you are supposed to head to the castle. So from the entrance, just hang a right and then you want to turn and then head up and then you are supposed to talk to the king. So once again, you can fast forward to save yourself a bunch of time. You can also use the fast forward to walk faster in case the walking speed isn't to your liking, but just chat it up with the king and he should tell you that you need to raise an army to go defend against the bad guys or whatever. Once he's done talking, just head down and you want to keep heading down and you want to head towards the gate. You should be stopped by a bunch of guys who want to volunteer to help fight with you or something like that. And then the dude from earlier is also going to stop by and join our army as well. So you should have about five guys or so in your army. Whatever the case, once you have your squad together, you want to head back to the king and let him know that you have an army and for him to open up the front gates. So just head back the way you came, talk to the king, and once you get the okay to leave, just head back down and then head out towards the gate. So the first time you leave town, you should take a carriage to the next location. It's going to be controlled for you, so you can't really do anything. So once you head to this location, you are going to fight a bunch of goblins. Now the trick to getting this achievement done super quickly is to make sure you lose this fight. So to lose this fight as quickly as possible, what you want to do is you want to move all of your side characters back and then move your main character forward into the line of fire. You will lose the fight if your main character ever goes down, so you just want to just move the side dudes out of the way and then make sure the enemies all gang up on your main dude. So if you end up winning this battle, the achievement's going to take an extra half hour to do, but if you lose on purpose, you can get this achievement done in about 5 minutes or so. So just move your character into a spot where he should be surrounded by enemies and they're just going to pelt him with attacks. Make sure you don't fight back and of course you can use right trigger to skip through animations and stuff. So just have your character go down and then you should get a game over and get sent back to the church. <laughs> Once you wake back up, just head back outside of the gate, and now you should have free range of the overworld. So what you can do is instead of heading back to the fight, you can actually skip to the next location where you are given the achievement. So you want to go up this time, and you want to follow the path until you get to this fort in the forest. And once you head in here, you should get kicked out, but you still get the achievements for heading to this location. So the soldier is going to kick you out, and your achievement should pop. There it is, it's going to be for 50 gamer score, and that's all there is to it.